Hi all, and welcome to the video. In this one, it's Let's Build a Tune Series 4, number 34. So, whoa, in this one, he said, zooming out madly fast, because he zoomed on a ramp. Um, yeah, a few little updates to the character, nothing massive. Uh, Weapons-wise, finally got all the final pieces we needed to put these two items together and give ourselves the Stellar Agent Nano Deck. Oh, look at these stats, they're awesome. So we got, uh, yeah... <laughs> Run speed, yeah. Crit, nice. Rifle, nice. Aim shot, nice. Concealment, nice. Chemistry, really. Uh, fling shot, max health. And nano cost, minus five. Lovely stuff. And we do have to wear it in order to uh, help ourselves out <laughs> with the buffs you get at this level. So I'm, I need to get a sniper's friend now. Uh, updates, yeah, yeah. There you go, Clan Merit's Awakened Defense Paragon. I love this thing. It's the defense one. I will probably get an offense one as well, but for soloing, this this is pretty nice. So three three and a half K to HP. I do have other buffs running at the minute. Got Superior Omni Med. Oh, and Essence. Of, yeah, Improved Essence of Beomoth. A um, bit more to run speed, a bit more to complet, etc. More damage. Nano Resist is nice. Heal Delta, etc. So, yeah, all good stuff. Anyway, we've got a few dailies to blast through, uh, as well as we have got... Where is it? Um, oh, do I not have it? I thought I had it. Nope. Let's go and get it. Yeah. I'm going to have to go to ICC. Yeah, I've already pre-farmed a doja. Just because, you know, just because you do. Let's see how long it takes to zone. Not that bad, actually. We have seen a lot worse around here. Yes, we have. Now, let's go and see the, uh, the guy. Yes, the ICC stuff is on. Arbitration drone. Okay. Freelancers Inc., please. Goodbye. Okay, and what have you got? Vincenzo. Vincenzo. Do, do, do. Oh, it's the PvP one. Just waiting for BS to run. And then going to BS and there's some exploiter in there. And it'll... No thanks. He's saying, oh, you should totally PvP. Uh, I totally used to PvP a lot um, on my older characters and before an awful lot of exploits were popular with idiots. Um, clueless idiots at that. Talk to Warden Stains. Yeah. Now, the other regular daily I've got is Enigma Dogs. However, however, if you notice, we've got two dojas. And someone was saying, oh, we can only hand one in. No, you can actually hand in... I think three. So you can hand in... Oh, is it... Yeah, no, it's four now. Special Doja from Pandemonium. Inferno Doja. If you can get into uh, Alb in Imp, you can pick one up there. Hand that in. And you can also, if you can find it, loot one from Al Appa in Penumbra. And uh, hand that in. Which is kind of ridiculous really how many dailies you can get done in a day and yet people still feel the need to cheat so first port of call needs to be El Job now that it wasn't a video earlier this week simply because I had a lot of stuff to do in real life sorry guys but you know I'm I'm a married man, and you do get the honey to do lists. <laughs> Mine was build a patio. 
yeah, so digging, we've got a sloping garden, so that resulted in a lot of digging and finding a huge lump of concrete in the ground. Someone had dumped there, the builders, no doubt, several years ago. Uh, so, yeah. Right, let's hand in Inferno Doja first. That was fun, pulling a 60 kilo chunk of concrete out of the ground. Yes, I did weigh it. Uh, <laughs> kind of ridiculously heavy. That's hard to pull out the ground because it's lower than your feet when you're wrenching on it. There we go. Boom. Oh, God. Hang on. I just wasted some research there. Uh, we should be dropping mission rewards. What do we get with this? We get Notum charge rounds. I don't know. Do I need it? Do I need it? Threat assessment. What am I putting in there? Psycho mod. Yeah, useful. Is useful. Matter creating. That's super useful. You know what? I'm going to put them all in there. What the hey? Okay, let's do panned. Boop. Okay, I found a special ship in Pandemonium. Yes, I did. There you go. More XP again. Goodbye. Right, I think I'll do the uh, Alien Daily next. Just because. Just because I feel like it. Yes, indeed. Yeah, so it's been slightly busy uh, for me in real life, which uh, I'm certainly not complaining about. It's uh, one of those things. Time to punch TNH in the face. Now, I could go back through ICC, or we could go via the mission building which I would prefer to do in fact because let's face it the uh, any time I can avoid ICC I will please optimize thanks not like top priority or anything but if you could that would be great uh, what have we got terminate cocoons Let's get it done. That should not be a problem. Now if I got all my buffs, I do plus a few outside buffs. Because I've just done 12 man again to get this buff, which is pretty nice. That's a lot of that damage really, isn't it? 200 for 4 hours. Okay, where's my fan club? Do you know what? The other one hasn't seen me, so he gets... Fun first. Debuff Z Scouts. There you go. Okay, now I'll deal with you. The pushy. Keep charging to the front like, you know. Don't worry, there's enough to go round for everyone. There we go, see? Told you there was enough to go round. Okay. Let's see now. Alien cocoon. There we go. I'm going to play my AS game with them again. Yeah, I got you. Yes, I did. There you go, like that. You see, I figured it out when I was watching it. We hit sneak just after clicking on the device. We can AS. Makes the whole thing a faster experience. Yes, indeed, it does. You're just going to be a pain in the butt, so let's deal with you now. Enjoy. So are you. Oh, yeah. That was quite a bit of damage output there. Oh, my AS wasn't actually ready. It went. Those two went down so fast. I kind of completely blew it on that score.
Alright, let the fun continue. Yeah, I didn't bother that time because, number one, my sneak was not actually ready. It will be ready now, though. AS for the win. Well, it is when it lands. Yeah, so I want to get um, the Dreadlock uh, Sniper's Friend. I think a bit of farming Peel and uh, the other guy is in order. Peel and Moxie are probably the two easiest. He said, not concentrating, thinking about what to say in the video and missing something. That does happen, honestly. Try and do it yourself. You don't have to put it on YouTube, but literally try and make a Let's Play. You'll be amazed how distracting it is to feel the need to actually speak to an audience of any kind. Uh, it's a very different experience to sort of being slumped in a chair, uh, playing at your own speed. It is honestly really quite different. And I, I do notice things as well. I, I appreciate guy, people pointing them out. But trust me, I, I watch stuff back when I'm editing. Because obviously I'm, I have to watch it to edit it. And um, yeah, there's, uh, there's quite a few bits and pieces. It's like, um, especially uh, Fallout 4, I completely missed a bobblehead. And then, because I <laughs> was editing the video, I went, it's right there. And then thought... Is it wrong to go back just because I've seen it in the video? And then I thought, you know what? Nah. Let's go and get it. You die. You die. Yes, the completion music was a tad out of sync there. So handing in those two doges, if we look at... Uh, where is it? Freelancers. One more daily, normal daily, and the the normal daily I've got today is uh, a, what I call a busy daily. It's not exactly a challenge. Let's let's be super avoiding ICC today. Although obviously we will have to go back there if we are planning on handing in the freelancers daily. It's just one of those unavoidable things. Have to go there to pick it up. Have to go there to hand it in. Although I do have this. Does this transport me back to their room? The incredible success of the Freelancers Inc. and Rubicar, they have commissioned the creation of this device, which will send the user to the agency of their affiliation. I think that just warps you back to your mission agency, not necessarily the Freelancers. I, I, I shall have to try that out actually and it doesn't share the lockout with these two see no countdown on it that I just got from doing um, the dailies there right so for the standard daily we've got enigma enigma dogs they're way down here in Belli Forest so kind of wine is about the nearest I think in fact I know it is uh, there's no real I mean, I suppose six are, maybe, because you have to talk to this guy first, which, kind of annoying, uh, but there you are. Right, so, let's get this done. Okay, for wine, we want to go to, oh god, having a brain fart, well in wastes, I think. And then, have a line. no, vomit woods, and here's where we probably crash. Yeah, I updated my drivers uh, for the graphics card, and I had nothing but problems with AO. Everything else, generally speaking, like Doom, etc., all running better. AO, not so much. So, I, th I think it's probably because it's overwritten a bunch of tweaks I've made through in video profile inspector which every time you update your drivers you do actually need to do uh, which is kind of a pain in the butt I wish Nvidia software didn't do that so uh, I think the no actually the very latest uh, 385 point something and 
time on the one previous to that. I always wait unless there's, you know, a very specific reason to uh, update and then, you know, then do it. But I hadn't updated my drivers in, since 363 point whatever squiggle it was. Um, partially that's because of different SLI, auto SLI, but there's a new version out which uh, there's a few more hoops to jump through. Um, but it does work. Now, I don't use uh, SLI in Anarchy. I can, but even when it's working and I'm not getting um, lots of flicker, what I don't get... Oh, fair play. Uh, what I don't get, though, is um, any better or any, any improvement in frame rate, <laughs> which is really quite annoying yes it is so we're going through the murk of the swamp dens are we any closer are we there yet i don't know lots of rooted mobs i think that's a root Greater cast nanoweb. Yeah, that's a fixer AOE snare, I think. Haven't played my fixer in a little while. I do bring him out occasionally. I do I, I really enjoyed playing him as well. But yeah. He was my kind of um welcome back to Anarchy Online after after I took a break. It wasn't a very long break, but I took one. And uh on returning, a lot had been released to the game, so I just bought all the expansions there and then. Because uh, I was like, I ain't missing out on all this stuff. So, did that and went, hmm, I should totally make a fresh character to relearn everything. And it didn't take long, about six months, and uh, kind of picked everything back up again. Okay, sounds good. We got our critter thing. We do! Goodbye. Right, let's go to the next marker. Now, hopefully there are not a gazillion people here. Because when that happens, invariably there aren't as many balls to go around as you may require. Yes, make, make comments about balls in the comment section and you know you're going to do it and so do i so i'm not even going to ask you not to God, someone's on a bit of a diner spree today aren't they not a single one right let's get out of the yarn because we do need to be not in the yarn in order for this to work there's a ball a couple of balls already right i need a dog first and foremost because you can't do this without dog there's a dog you're a mine. And just for fun, you're mine. Now, you've been good dogs, therefore. Let's open pet, yeah. Puppy number one. Have a plus 11 crit buff. Enigma dog number two. You have an additional one. I've actually done this in MP and, and had these two plus my own pets. All on here. Now, have I even got... Um, I've got pet follow, at least. I don't think I've got pet attack. Oh, well, we'll do it the old way. Clicky, clicky. I don't think I've got the macro. I think I, I needed the slot for something. Okay, let us find another ball. There's one. Guys, get him. Awesome source. Another Edigma dog. Right, so how many? Four more balls. There's a ball. Attack, gentlemen. Go, puppies. Be free. Well, two. Real fast. Trouble is, of course, if you run into stuff like. Uh, I think it's mostly the swamp wargs. You know, they're grey to your character by the time you get this mission. However, your two pets are not, and they will aggro them. And, in, and these guys do not have a lot of HP. And you, you can lose your pets very easily if uh, 
You get a swamp warg running in and uh, spoiling it. Yes, you can't resurrect them either. You have to go off and find another, which is why I always like to bring two along. Ah, uh, ha, 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 anything around that one. No, I don't believe that there is. Go. Go, my pets. Kill it. Right, well, that was an annoying damned crash, yeah. Uh, I might be rolling back drivers. I really might. I, I seem to have a lot more stability previously than I do right now. So, not great. Anyway, come on then, guys. Follow. I think these are actually two different Enigma dogs. As far as I know, they do keep the buffs you give them, even when you uh, leave the area. Ah, ah. Go. Kill. Be free. Oh, any swamp wargs about? Okay. Nice. So, it did count the kill, even though I kind of crashed when it happened. Right, okay. So there's that, I think, quick way back for us again. Going to do this, see what message we get from our little uh, guys. Ooh, Carl, Denny got fat. Uh, Capricorn goes, I don't need. No, I don't. I like the NR on it, but what I need more, more than anything at the moment on the, on the agent is actually more bloody NCU space. I'm, I'm going to have to build, make, farm, buy, don't know which yet, um, the uh, the high-grade memory nanos. There we go. Now, I could hand that in and then hand in the other one, but I'm going to go and talk to, yet again, Warden Stains, your old friend and mine. Right, why Stains? What if it's his why fronts that are stained? I have probably made that exact joke before. Now I think of it, but hey. Warden Stains, guess who I want to kill? Hello? He's, he's an Atrox, you know. They're, they're kind of slow. I should know. I've got a couple of those. Three, in fact. Atrox Keeper, Atrox Enforcer, and thank you to my subscribers and Atrox Crat, although Fatty is awesome. Uh, he's quite funny in PvP. I did perk him with, um, oh, I can't think of the name of the buff now. Uh, perk like Atrox, yeah, so he, he gets Atrox Rage when it used to be a thing. It, it kind of isn't a thing anymore. If you, um, if you use it now, it, it's severely nerfed compared to what it once was but yeah it, it certainly was a thing that's why you saw Atrox everything for PvP just because they could perk uh, Atrox rage line so this all might seem very familiar probably because it is but this is the problem you know where do I draw the line on a tune at this level because you know, it, it, when it comes to making videos, well, I, I'm always quite mindful. I always want to make some kind of content that's a little different each episode. I don't want to just sort of keep repeating the exact same stuff. I mean, yes, I may talk about different things in um, that particular episode, but you're not really seeing much different. I mean, I suppose you could argue the same about any game. Um but an MMO, I think more than anything, there is an awful lot of repetition in it. Uh, it it's just the nature of the beast. It's just the way they work. And what, what really keeps you coming back are the friends you make. That's something I heard um, uh, another YouTuber say, massive, massively bigger than me, um, Total Biscuit, who, funnily enough, is... Yeah, same generation as me, I think. I think he's Generation X. I may need to check that. But, the, you know, he said the same. That What keeps people interested in an MMO at the end of the day is, you know, players getting to know each other by socially interacting. I think it was one of the first or oldest recordings of Total Biscuit. Um, 
and it was before he even had a YouTube account. That's how old the recording is. And it's him doing a presentation, I think, at a university or somewhere. Um, you know, so two adults uh, condemning, you know, n you know, sensationalist news stories saying, you know, um, kids not, you know, being affected by video games and stuff. And he, his sort of retort for 45 minutes on that is... A very, very compelling um, argument backed up with an enormous amount of facts, statistics and verifiable, um, you know, numbers and stuff versus the emotive, not quite so well backed up by statistics, facts and uh, other stuff. It's all a bit, you know, when he was talking about that, he was, he was kind of, I mean, he doesn't say it, but it's very clear that the, you know, the sensationalist journalism is simply headline grabbing. And this is kind of pre-big internet, as I call it. So you go back to 2004 and compare the internet user base to what it is now. So 2004 is what? That's pre-Facebook, YouTube and Twitter. You know, that, MySpace was still a thing. There, were, there was such a thing as Google Video. I actually had videos on Google Video. Because I've used the internet since the 90s. I don't think it really was a thing for me until then. What's the timer on this corpse? 22 minutes. Okay, well, we are going to have to wait around. We've got a Advi and an MP. Doing it daily. Oh, there you go. DV Bain, thank you, and like, like at, like at, okay, there you go, what guild are they, winter is coming, and, in the other one, can't see, oh there you go, infinity, there you go guys, quick shout out, but now we're going to have to sort of sit and wait, I don't actually need that anymore, should we give, yeah, let's be super friendly, you know, here, have buffs, kind of a thing, Now, speaking of buffs, how are my buffs doing? Pretty good. Better better than I thought they were going to be, in fact. Yeah, I, I can get away with just moochums and a couple of drains now to cast all the, the big boy stuff. I do have, actually, I'm not sure if I mentioned this last time, but I've now got Blast of Outflanking. I think I did add that, but that's... Uh, Negative taunt, very useful. Uh, and this one, harm shock, which is plus 130. So running those two as well now, which is nice. Uh, how are we doing? Doc has run out. But previously I had to go MP. Then I would have to cast that, Odin's missing eye. Then get a Moochums, then drain. So, you know, I was, uh, I was a fair way off there from, you know, technically self-casting something like that but now yeah i mean technically it's self apart from moochums uh, i'm hoping alphas will make it all better <laughs> they won't i mean the, the the main differences on your nano skills i think on artillery are yeah you've got one 130 to all skills there you get 144 with alphas um so you get 14 14 can't remember how much you get in the bright. Uh, let's have a quick. Yeah, I would have to check. I mean, I have. I think they're the same as the intelligent arm, but I think that's in my bank. It's the only intelligent I actually have for artillery, at the moment. My bag of win. Still got little bits in it. I don't really need that anymore. Now I've got this. Although that obviously is a lot easier to use. Um, but yeah, if you upgrade that, I think your max treatment's like 45. I don't think I need it as high as that. Still got that as well. That's a lovely little item. Um, considering if you look, I could have almost worn that in Temple of the Three Winds. There's no title lock on it, you see. Must have Shadowlands and Sense Agility from, well... Four, five, three on both. Now that was it's not a bazillion miles away. It would probably OE, but you know you do see a lot of you know twinks in there wearing quality seventy-five alien armor 
and uh, alien tank armor. I mean, they're pretty impressive uh, twinks, to be honest. And and these are real twinks, not uh, clicky, 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 uh, equip anything. That's not twinking. That has another name. It's called cheating. Yes, it is. Instead of using your brain and game knowledge and skill and planning ability, click, 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 get what I want, click, click, click. Yeah, good, good for you. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure where your self-esteem is, but if that makes you feel good, my God, it must be in a pretty bad place. That, that is my genuine feeling for that. There's the amount of people that think they were never going to get caught and then got royally banned is quite a interesting number. We have extra friends here yeah I, I saw them posting in facebook and here's the thing I, I i go into that facebook group i'll comment on one or two things maybe or just drop a link to the latest video because people seem to like it and it is a you know a group about anarchy online although i'm not sure if anyone's technically keeping an eye on it anymore um and yeah you know it's okay it's fun nobody minds but the amount of people i see boasting about you know, all the um, exploiting they do and duping items and how they've never played money for the game, etc. Um, so, yeah. Oh, great. Now we're all flagged, I think. Well, if I buff her, I will be. So... Not going to. <laughs> Wimping out. Don't buff me. I, I know one T flag. So we got Nordskin from X Asylum. We've got Methu. Methu. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Haven. I didn't know Haven was still a thing. Um, oh, I should get my hot bars sorted out pretty quick. Okay, let's debuff him a bit. Yeah, yeah. That should do nicely. Yes, indeed. This this feels uh, pretty good. Yeah, I think there's quite a bit of damage going on here. Not just by us. I am being genuine about that. Oh, gonna have to heal. Actually, you know what? I probably didn't need to. But, you know, I, I don't want to look like I'm showing off here or something. Even though I kind of am. But no, I'm, I'm highest level here. If you can't... And, you know, unless you're like on a dock or something, then, or enforce it, then, you know, you pretty much should have a bit of an advantage. <laughs> Okay, leaving team and gonna whiz back that way because I think we're actually a little bit all done on the dailies already. It's a thing. Right, okay. Let's check this out. Okay, I think first off, let's return to Warden Stains because that is the thing I nearly always forget. Now, what's the betting he takes 10 seconds to respond again. Warden Stains. Hello. I know I'm kind of down by your knee. There you go. Another dead prisoner. I'll take green arbitrarily. Because it doesn't actually matter to me at all. Being quite honest though, you know, I'm just, just, just saying. Right, let's hand in and... Uh, See how we do. Yay! Landed where I wanted to. To have. Grade 19. Alright, oh, someone's got a uh, bit of a deal going on there with a the Halloween uh, morpho. Something similar to that, at least. Right, let's talk to guy number one. Mission complete. 
So that's completed that. And also, yeah, freelancers is complete. Goodbye. Okay, let's hand in over here. Can I as my reward now? Goodbye. There we go. Cap again. Yep. Alien dude. This will not quite be enough, I think, but here goes. Mission complete. No, one more would do it all a good hour in them. Um... Oh, Arid Rift, where I'm probably not going to go. Not in this episode, at least. No, no, no. Right, unfortunately, we now have to go back to ICC in order to hand this one in. No, you're not going that way, you... But, yeah. Something I do on my 220s once they've hit AI-30s. Is keep rolling dailies until I get one for that area. And then I don't have to come through ICC when I want to go to Pand. <laughs> like, just literally, like... Ding! <laughs> oh, yeah, what am I doing? Ralph, my man. There you go. What's that done on that line? Well, that's not bad. Threat assessment 6... All the way out, yeah, you know, a couple of uh, inf missions, and uh, I'd say pretty good there. Right, let's get the hell out of here. And then for this one, I am going to call it a day. Yes, I still have lots to do tomorrow. Unfortunately, yeah, there's no way I want to be doing this in February and, you know, in the wind, rain, sleet, and snow. Let's get it done in August while the weather's real nice. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. So that's it. I am calling it a day on this episode. But I will see you for the next one. Okay, folks. Bye for now.